Let's see if we can figure out what two and one fourth times three is. Pause this video and see if you can work that out. All right, now there's different ways that we could approach this. One way to approach this is to recognize that if I multiply anything times three, that means that I'm taking three of these things and adding them together. So this is going to be the same thing as two and one fourth plus two and one fourth plus two and one fourth. Now I could also view this as each of these two and one fourths is two plus one fourth plus two plus one fourth plus two plus one fourth. All I did is I broke up the, each of the two and one fourths into a two plus one fourth. And then what I could do is I could add the whole number parts. Two plus two plus two is going to be equal to six. And then if I were to take one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, how many fourths do I now have? I have three fourths. So it's going to be six plus three fourths. Or I could write this as six and three fourths. Now another way that we could have approached this is we could have rewritten two and one fourth. I could have rewritten that as the same thing as two is, is eight fourths, eight fourths is the same thing as two, plus one fourth, and then I'm multiplying that whole thing times three. And so this is going to be the same thing as nine fourths, eight fourths plus one fourth is nine fourths times three. And so we could say, hey, that's just going to be equal to nine fourths plus nine fourths plus nine fourths, which would be equal to what? Well, I have, this is going to be nine plus nine plus nine fourths, which is going to be equal to 27 fourths. Now you might be saying, hey, these look like they are different, but you could check this. Six is equal to how many fourths? So six is equal to 24 fourths. 24 fourths plus three fourths, which is exactly equal to 27 fourths. And we are done.